Hey guys, it's KBeast, and this week I painted the prize for my 100 subscriber giveaway. Uh, I ran the giveaway the last two weeks of August, and on September 1st I picked the winner, and that was Jocelyn. So congratulations, Jocelyn. And um, I sent her an email, and she came back with a request of the character Ken from Tokyo Ghoul and sent me um, a very specific pose and a very useful reference, so thank you Jocelyn because that made this so much easier on me. Um, references is, is very good. So so yeah, I sketched it out on computer paper with a Prismacolor color race pencil and I had measured out the um, area that was going to be the actual piece. I did 5 by 7 watercolor paper and then I went over with my mechanical pencil to work out some details. So yeah, um, as you can see I'm filming from a side angle, which was something I've been wanting to play with for a little while. Um, I used um, my smartphone and I got this little clip-on tripod thing for phones from Five Below and decided to experiment and just kind of play around with editing styles a little bit. Um, I liked how these clips turned out, but all of the clips that I got when I was actually painting the thing wound up shaking too much because the tripod was clipped to my art table directly and it wound up moving too much so I'm gonna have to figure something out for my next piece but at least you know trial and error I'll get it figured out eventually um, so yeah I I had a lot of fun working on this um, I'm not familiar with Tokyo Ghoul um, but it seems like it might be something I'd be into um, I used to be really into anime when I was in high school, but that was like 10 years ago. <laughs> I actually have my high school 10 year reunion coming up in November, which feels really weird to say because, like, I hadn't realized it had been that long. <laughs> I'm starting to feel old now, but yeah. Um, but back in high school, I was really into things like um, Revolutionary, Revolutionary Girl Utna and Cardcaptor Sakura and things like that. Pretty much anything by Clamp, you know, which you, you've seen my, if you've seen my cheap piece, you, you know that already. Um, so I'm kind of behind, basically, um, but I'm, I think I would be into it. My, my friend Jesse actually, around the time that I was working on this piece, was messaging me on Facebook about reading this comic and was singing its praises and I thought the timing was extremely funny because like out of nowhere I was working on this and she was reading it. Um, but Jesse and I tend to agree on comics a lot so I think I might talk to her some more and possibly try reading it because it seems kind of interesting. Um, so I did the inking here using my light box and my Pentel pocket brush pen as always and then for really really tiny details I used my Copic multi-liners um, just because the brush pen does really well for most things, but for really fine details, it's a little difficult, and I just didn't want to mess it up. But it, it seemed to work out pretty well, and yeah. So I used my, my Winsor Newton Cotman watercolors, as always, and because this was a giveaway piece, um, I wanted to keep the painting style simple, so it's just simple washes of color and a little bit of shadows. I wasn't going to go crazy with detail or texture for this um, because it was a giveaway and um, you know for future giveaway things they might get a little more elaborate but for 100 subscribers it was going to be you know a little simpler but it was it was still fun to do. I haven't really done a whole lot of watercolors of human characters and um, it was kind of fun to revisit like my cartoony style and paint something so I think I may have to continue that. But overall, it was still kind of a fun piece. Um, I did want to say thank you to everybody who entered the giveaway, as well as um, everybody who has been following my channel. Um, when I announced this giveaway, I had literally just passed 100 subscribers, and I think I'm at 245 today. Um, it's Wednesday the 14th at the time I'm recording this audio. Um, so that's pretty amazing. I, tr I doubled my subscriber count in three weeks and it's still growing. So thank you guys so much um, for following me and for leaving comments. And I've noticed a couple of people following me on other social media as well. That's pretty awesome. But I mean, 
it's just really cool to see the channel growing so much um, and to see all the support and everything. When I started this art channel, I mostly did it as a way to motivate myself to create more art on a regular basis because I never really had a shortage of ideas, but I really had a hard time getting myself to actually sit down and do them. And I decided that making an, uh, an art channel with a weekly schedule would sort of get me going because there was accountability there. If I didn't create some artwork, I wouldn't have a video to put up that week. And that really got me motivated to create more. Um, the only drawback I had was a brief period of time when my carpal tunnel flared up and I decided to switch to traditional art and I had to buy the supplies to record traditional art, which set me back a few months. But ever since I got finally got that set up, things have been rolling and it's been really cool and I'm really liking you know, the process, and I'm really, you know, humbled and, and just excited by, you know, seeing everybody watching and everything, so thank you so much. Um, and I will definitely do more subscriber giveaways and participation kind of things in the future, um, especially once I decide to start up a Patreon. It's in the works, I just haven't quite decided when I'm going to open it. I'm thinking when I get near 500 subs, I'm not really sure yet, so... Yeah, if it's the sort of thing that, you know, you guys might be interested in seeing, um, like a Patreon where you can get, like, prints or anything uh, on a monthly basis, let me know. Um, because if there seems to be interest, I'll definitely start it sooner. But anyway, here's the finished piece, and I just got an email from Jocelyn today that it arrived safely. Um, so I hope you enjoy it, Jocelyn, and congratulations on winning. And thank, uh, thank you guys again so much, and I guess that does it. So... Thank you again, and I will see you in the next video. To the Earth! Drawbridge and moat. This one I actually kind of enjoyed. This one was fun. Chariot. Phoenix Rising! I drew Phoenix from X-Men because I'm a nerd. And this one was kind of fun. Wrecking Ball. Um, lighting. There we go. So, yeah, it's it's simple because it's meant to be, but I still still like how it turned out. So, hopefully she likes it. And, um, I won't be able to get to the post office.